Can four neighbors share electricity, store their combined solar energy for later use, and direct their home's solar panels to power an electric car? The Microgrid Research Project at Missouri University of Science and Technology's Solar Village allows students living in the four sun-powered homes in this living laboratory a unique opportunity to test small-scale microgrids separated from traditional power delivery methods. So a microgrid is a system where you have distributed or localized generation as well as localized consumption. So you could be a consumer of electricity, at the same time you could be a producer of electricity. Here in our microgrid we have solar panels on the roof of all four houses which gives us about 24 kilowatts of generation as well as our second generation unit is a fuel cell. The fuel cell that we have is a high temperature fuel cell so not only it generates electricity, it actually uses natural gas. It actually produces hot water for the houses. We have two racks of lithium ion batteries. Each rack is about 960 volts and it gives us about 50 kilowatt hours of energy storage. If it is cloudy, I believe the houses can go off the grid relying on the energy storage system for at least two or three days. As a resident of the Solar Village, I honestly have to say, you don't really notice that you're in a solar village. It's the same as living in any house. You just have this good feeling that you're running on this green energy in this sustainable way. And especially now with the microgrid, we're really excited that we're gonna be living off of exactly what we generate. A lot of companies are producing components to a microgrid and they wanna test their component. They wanna see if the system is stable. We believe that a community microgrid can provide us more information than let's say a single residence. It's more challenging to control, we get more people involved in the feedback. The City Utilities has been part of the microgrid project since the start. It gave an opportunity to learn more about microgrids and more about the interactions of different types of alternative energy. And right now with solar, with wind, with all sorts of renewables, things are changing. And as a utility, we simply have to change with those sort of technologies. I don't know anywhere else in the country, possibly even the world, where all of these different components, the solar panels, the fuel cells, the battery storage, the hydronic heating, the electric vehicle with charging station coming together in one place in a community where people are actually living. A normal day for me is I wake up, I go outside, and I unplug my car. The same as you would unplug your cell phone in the morning after it's charged overnight. So I'm driving a 2013 Ford Fusion Energy, which is a plug-in hybrid. I try to drive on mostly electric energy from the solar panels. I have 19 miles that I can drive on pure electric before it switches over to a standard hybrid engine. So it only takes about 30 cents of electricity for a full charge. So I would say within the next 10 or 20 years, we are going to hear more and more about microgrids and they are going to be more and more popular and in being integrated in the daily life of humans.